begin recording and she began to outburst and to cause a big disturbance in my church. So I said, come on over here, come on over here. Now on the side is where I have people line up for prayer. So she came up over here, not to the pulpit. Everybody keeps saying that I invite her in the pulpit. You have to be a minister to be in the pulpit in my church. So she came on the side and she began to yell at me. She began to cuss me out and say whatever she wanted to say. I let her say what she wanted to say and I'm going to be posting more video because you guys didn't see the video inside of the church. So you'll be able to see everything. Um, so she came over, she cussed me out, cursed me out, called me all type of names. I said, all right, me and my church started to pray. And I said, now you have to go, you have to get out, you have to go. What you guys don't see on camera is that she started to walk back to leave and then she spit back around. And she came back after my wife and my daughter. So I have my wife and my daughter, who's 10 months old, sitting there and she came and said, and now you, you're a liar going towards my wife. And that's when you see her walk in front of me, going at my wife and my daughter, and I grabbed her. Everybody's saying that I choked her. How can you choke somebody from behind? I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I never wrapped my arms around her neck. I have no fingernails, so they say that I scratched her. I don't have any fingernails. I, I never have fingernails. You can see I don't have fingernails. So I grabbed her from behind by her shirt, from behind and by her shoulder. And I escorted her out. And I'm going to be posting this video. 